I'm so tired of being single. Dad, can I go to an all boys school? An all boys school? I mean, yeah, if that's what you really want. I already chose it. I'm so excited. Anyways, I'll see you later. I need to go to my new school. Wait, before you go, you must know that boys only school. It down. doesn't matter. I already chose it. Bye. Wait, it's important. I can't wait to get to school. Everyone's definitely going to be surprised because I'm the only girl there. And I can finally get myself a new boyfriend. Guys, look. Why is there a girl wearing our school uniform? For God's sake, Dave. It's still morning. Don't worry about it. But really, wow. She's so beautiful. Why does the toilet smell like pee? Because there's no girls here, so we can pee freely. Wait, what? Are you for real? No, I'm just joking. Can I have your number? I'm just gonna go. Today we're gonna learn how to cook, so you can be the dream husband in the future. Yes, cooking class. This is one of my favorite classes in school. But why do all guys look so pale? Please choose your own group. One group consists of two people. Why are you all looking at me like that? Please be in my group. I can't cook. Leave her alone. She's gonna pick me. Don't listen to them. Come. The seat next to me is free. Whoa. Relax. Instead of fighting over me, I can just teach you all how to cook. It's very easy. Why is there a girl in this class? Who allowed her in the school? Throw her out now. Why should we throw her out? She's better at teaching us how to cook than you are. Just get rid of her now. Ugh, I hate teenage girls. Are you sure you want to kick me out of the school? That would be a very bad idea. And why do you say that? Because I... Evil school or good school? Which one should I choose, mom? Choose evil school. Our whole family graduated from okay. that. Okay. Bye, mom. I'm going to school. Wait, I thought you chose evil school. You're supposed to be wearing a black uniform. Why are you wearing pink? Because I chose good school. Oh my gosh. You have to change clothes right now to black. Why did my mom tell me to choose evil school? Weird. What school did you choose, Amara? Um, evil school. What about you? Oh, same. Basically, we shouldn't be separated because the school is scary. Scary? Yes, good school students can't stand to enter our place. Oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? Hey, um, is this the evil school? Yes. Do you know where the classes are? Please go down the hall to the left. Thanks. Hey, you. We're going to have to do a check because you're suspicious. What? This is a special drink for evil school. To prove your words, you have to drink this. I hope they don't find out that I'm lying. I have to choose between going to the bowels of the earth or the end of the earth. Mom, which one's safer? Honey, I recommend going to the bowels of the earth. Don't go to the end of the earth. There's many wild animals there. The bowels of the earth? Since no one's ever been there before, I'll be the first. I can't wait for my trip to the bowels of the earth. It's only 24 hours away. Wait, what did you say? Bowels of the earth? Yes, why? It's very hot there. There's no way you could survive. You'll die as soon as you get there. How do you know? No one's ever been there. Oh yeah, right. I'll look for more information about it because you're my friend. I don't want anything bad happening to you. Whoa, you said you were going to the bowels of the earth. That's so cool. Yeah, that's right. I'll be the first person to go there. At the same time, you'll be the first person to die there. <laughs> Honey, you have to bring these things with you. I prepared the bag. What's in the bag, mom? Just take it with you. Don't open it until you get to your final destination. You're sure it's safe to go there, right? Yes, it's very safe. Don't worry. Here, for you, Amara. What is this? Death flowers. Guys, come on, I'll be fine. Let us know later if you're still alive. <sighs> Whatever. Honey, did you forget I'm allergic to flowers? Who gave them to you? <sighs> My friends, mom. They're making fun of me because I want to go to the bowels of the earth. If so, throw them away. <sighs> That's probably them. They're here to make fun of me again. Oh, hey, babe. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? We have to break up. What? Why? I can't be with you. You chose the bowels of the earth. <sighs> Why don't you come with me? We can get married there. What are you saying? Nothing can survive in the bowels of the earth. I'm going to have to find another girl. Amara, I found information about your trip. You actually went to find it? Yes, it says there's a city that only certain people can enter. And what are these certain people like? Because yesterday it chose the bowels of the earth, you're not one of those people. Whoa, does that mean I'm a special child now? Goodbye, Amara. Good luck in heaven. Rest in peace, Amara. People don't know that there's a city there. I'll prove to them that I can survive. Hey, when you go to the bowels of the earth, can I come with you? Who are you? Little kids can't come. I've been there many times. What? Yes, every week I always go to the bowels of the earth. That's a lot of flowers. <sighs> yeah, they're from my friends. Oh, look, I only have a few seconds left before I leave. Three, two, one. Go to the past or go to the future. I think I'll go to the past so I can prove things which I regret. Okay, I still have a whole day before going to the past. I better get to school. 
Morning, Miss Johnson. Has Emma left for school yet? I thought we could walk together today. Emma passed away yesterday, but she gave me this letter to give to her teacher. I'm not going to have time today, so can you give it? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Of course I can take it. Thanks. Why doesn't her mom look sad? Okay, um, I better get going. So, I just need to give this letter to the teacher, right? Your friend Emma passed away. Wasn't Emma at school yesterday? She seemed fine. How does the teacher know? I haven't given him the letter yet. Don't you think there's something weird about Emma's death? Something weird? Emma was fine just yesterday. How did she suddenly die? You're right. I have to go back in time quickly to see what really happened. Hey Jack, you and Emily took the same taxi home yesterday, right? Yes, but she asked the driver to drop her off in the middle of the road. Huh? She asked him to drop her in the middle of the road? Yes. That's weird. Emily doesn't seem to be the person to leave like that. I'm going to the past. I have to find out for myself. I wonder what city I'm going to get. Huh? Devil City? What even is Devil City? It doesn't sound too good, so I'm just going to go later. Mom, I got my city. It says Devil City. What? Never tell your friends, okay? But what if they ask? Just say you got Human City. Okay, I will. I got Angel City. I also got Angel City. What city are you um, from, Amara? I got Human City. That means you're from this city. Yeah, I'm going to continue living in the city. Oh, well, that must be boring for you. Okay, everyone, make sure you've packed all your stuff. You'll be leaving to your new cities tonight. Is everyone leaving? Yes, this city is useless. We're all going to the Angel City. That means all my friends are moving cities and I'm going to be here all alone. I wonder what the Devil City is like. But I can't leave my parents behind, so I'll just go later. Those who are going to the Angel City, raise your hand. Wow, everyone got Angel City. Amara, what city did you um, get? Human City. But that's impossible. Impossible? What do you mean? Everyone got a city. Maybe the system has an error. I'm sure you'll get a city later. Yes, sir. Has your city appeared yet? Not yet. It still says Human City. You have to move cities before midnight, otherwise you'll stay here all, all alone. alone. Yes. But I'll still have my parents, right? Yes, your parents will stay in the city. Only high school kids leave to different cities and return when they're older. When everyone's gone, this class will be empty and you'll be dismissed from the school. So you better get a city soon. I don't want to be dismissed from the school. That's why you have to move cities too. Okay, I'll tell you later if my city changes. What if I lie to everyone and say I got the city of angels? No one's gonna know I got the devil city. You can only go to the city that's been selected for you. You heard that? Please don't tell anyone I got the devil city. It doesn't matter. What matters is you can only go to the devil city. Everyone's ready to leave for the new city. Everyone? Yes, and your city should have appeared by now. What exactly is it? I got angel city. Oh, nice. Why do you look so sad? It's a shame you got the sea of angels. You should have gotten the devil sea. It's a shame? What happens if you get the devil sea? So you still don't know, huh? The person who gets the sea of devils is... You have to get class A. It will make our family very valuable. Okay, I'm going to check now. Three, two, one. Wow, I got class C, mom. Oh no, that's not good. What's wrong? Hurry up, I have to fake your class before you embarrass our family. Okay, mom. Hopefully no one will know and it will look like you got class A. What class are you in, Emily? I'm in class C. It's true that poor people like us are never appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm in class A. Huh? How come? I don't know. I was also surprised this morning. Yeah, if that's the case, we'll be in separate classes. Emily said you got class A. Yeah, that's right. Nice to meet you all. Where does your parents work? Uh, oh my gosh, my parents don't own a company. What the heck, Jake? Maybe she doesn't want to say it. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to say. Your parents must be very important. Okay, class, this is our first lesson. Please take out your cell phone. Cell phone? I only brought a paper and a pen. That can't be right. Everyone got cell phones when they received the letter A. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Um, mine broke. It's okay, sir. I can share mine with Amara. Okay, if you don't mind. You're lucky I saved you. Yes, thank you so much. Let's go to the canteen. I'm really hungry. Why are you going to the canteen? Our food is delivered to the school by a helicopter. A helicopter? And there it is. The food's already here. Mom? Hey, honey. I came to bring you some food. 
I'm so scared. If I get caught, they'll put me in prison. Calm down. Everything is safe and under control. You just have to go with the flow. Okay, if you say so. Class A, please make your way to the dining room. I have to go, Mom. I was looking for your food, but your name wasn't there. Oh, don't worry. I already got it. I think the teacher's assumptions were true. What assumption? You're not really at Class A, are you? <laughs> I'm just joking. Why are you so scared? Now that you've finished eating, we're going to bring in all your parents, so please be nice to everyone. Why are you bringing your parents, sir? So everyone can get to know each other better. I can't wait to meet your parents, Amara. Me too. They must be really important. Everyone's parents are here except Amara's. Where are your parents? Um, maybe they're busy. You look suspicious. I want you to erase the letter on your neck. But my class is still loading. What if I remove it and nothing shows? Okay, I'll remove it now, sir. Okay, I'll remove it now, sir. Honey, wait! Huh? My mom's here. That means I don't need to remove my class mark, right? Yes, you're really lucky she showed up. Your mom is so cool. Please introduce us. Yes, I've never met or seen your mom before. Later, okay? I want to talk to my mom first. Mom, why is my class loading? That's because you were told to remove your letter by the teacher. I'm going to be so embarrassed if I don't get a class. Don't worry, honey. All you have to do is fake a class again. What? Turns out I've went up a class. I'm in class B now. You still need to fake it so you don't embarrass our family. Amara, what are you doing in the toilet? You're taking so um, long. My stomach hurts. By the way, did you get your dress for tonight? Yeah. No, you haven't. You need to go get it quickly. It's only for class A people. I'm in class A. Do you have any clothes for me? Your name is Amara. Wait a minute. Let me find it. I know it's not going to be there. Psst. Who's calling me? Over here. Mom? Here's your dress. Don't tell anyone I gave it to you. But how did you get this? Isn't it expensive? Oh, I just borrowed it off a neighbor. Okay, every girl has to be paired with a guy. Um, all of us? Yes, all those who got class A has a partner. My partner's late. Who says I'm late? Who told you to come here? If they find out we're both not in class A, we'll be finished on the spot. I'm just following what your mom told me. My mom? Yes, she paid me three million to come. Three million? Weird, right? I thought you guys were poor. I'm pretty sure you're not in class A. I am, and besides, you don't have any proof, sir. I'll continue to push you until you confess. Why are you doing this? Because I care about you. Okay, it's time to go home. You'll all be picked up with sports cars by your parents. What sport car do um, you have, Amara? I don't know, because we have too many sport cars at home. Whoa, I think I only have a Ferrari. I have a Lamborghini. I definitely don't have a sport car. Why am I even waiting here to get picked up? Let me just leave. Get in the car, honey. Mom, aren't we poor? How do you have that car? Um, maybe it's time for me to tell you a story. What story? Actually, your dad is... Each color has its own discount. I wonder what color I'm gonna get. Three, two, one. You got purple. Purple? How much is the purple discount? As far as I know, purple's not on the discount list. I got blue and my discount is 70%. I got pink and my discount is 80%. I just bought an iPhone 16. I got purple. There's no purple color on the discount list. Her discount is probably 0%. She can't buy anything. Ew, right? Why is everyone buying expensive things? Because there will be a competition tomorrow. The one with the most expensive items win. Everyone buys things with their own discount, so today you're going to have to stop buying things. But I don't know how much my discount is. How am I supposed to buy things? I guess I'm just going to have to try and see. It's better if you don't go to school tomorrow because you don't have any discounts. So you won't be able to buy anything. Don't worry. As soon as my discount appears, I'll straight away go and buy something. Buy something? If you get 0% discount, what can you buy? Flip-flops? No way. My discount is on 100%. I hope I get... Let's prove it. Prove it? How? We have to take you both to the prince. Take us to the prince? Yes, he's never been in love before because he's very picky. So, in order to prove that you have the real rainbow, you have to say that he loves you. And if that comes true, then we'll all believe you. Okay. But I don't want to make the prince fall in love with me. I don't like him. Are you scared they'll catch you because your rainbow color is fake? No, I'm not. Okay, fine. I'll do it then. I'll make him fall in love with me. You ready to go to the palace? I'm ready. Prove it by taking the mask off. They're so gonna hate me. Oh, wait. Rainbow color? That means you're... 
That means I'm what? I'm sorry I said that, but I have to go. Why are you running away? You didn't tell me what my color meant. So it's true. Amara did get rainbow colors. Come on, everyone. Let's leave. Why are you all leaving? Please, don't be angry with us, Amara, okay? Angry at you? Wait. Why are you all acting so weird? Hey, Amara, I just want to let you know, whatever you do, do not say anything weird about me. Why would I say anything weird about you? Just please be careful. Huh? I'll just cover it up so no more people knows my color. You know I'm the richest person here, right? You have to obey me. Why are you like this? Just because you're rich doesn't mean I have to obey you. Furthermore, your parents could go bankrupt any day. Hello, Dad? Honey, we're going to have to move out of our house tomorrow. My company just got bankrupt. What? That was just a coincidence, right? I have to prove it again. I will be famous. Please give me a good magic power. Mind control? Why do I always get bad ones? I want to refuse it, but I can't. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Accept it now. But mom! I said do it. All right, fine. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. She shouldn't be allowed back in the school. Who says I don't have any magic powers? I have a magic power. Really? And what's your magic power? I can't tell them. They'll bully me. I don't want to say. It's a secret. Sir, am I allowed to stay in the school? Do you have a magic power? Yes, I do. I picked one today. All right, then you can stay. Thanks, sir. I'm so scared. Imagine someone finds out about my magic power. I can't let anyone know that I got mind control. Everyone, we'll be practicing our magic powers today. Practicing our magic powers? Yes, everyone should know how to use them. Amara, you just pretend to have magic powers so you can stay in the school, right? No, that's not true. I have magic powers. If you have magic powers, why don't you want to tell me what it is? Fine, it's mind control. Mind control? That's the most greatest magic power. The greatest magic power? If you really have that power, then I want to challenge you. Challenge me? Yep, to see if you're telling the truth. Okay, fine. I'll accept the challenge. Good. Look, guys, I'm going to use my powers on Amara. Wait, why isn't it working on her? Wait, Amara, do you really not feel anything? Feel what? Why are you all looking at me like that? I know about your magic power. You can control minds. What? How do you know? Because you have the strongest magic power. I can feel strongest, it. Strongest? But I don't know how to use it. It's easy. Just use your feelings. Feelings? Yes. Amara, did you accept the magic match against Jennifer? Yes. Then the competition will start now. Now? Yes. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to use my magic yet. Why so quiet? Are you scared to fight me? Okay, the magic match will start in 3, 2, 1. I hope I get a good magic power. Move things? That's not even a power. It's normal to move things. I don't want it. Good morning, mom. Good morning, honey. Make sure you're ready for magic school. Yes, mom. Did you choose your magic power? Not yet. What? Why? How are you going to magic school with no magic powers? That's so dumb. Relax. I'm just waiting to get a good magic power. I don't want to get a lame one like the rest of my friends. Ouch! Look what my powers can do. Okay, okay, stop. You're hurting me. I can hurt you without even touching you. That's a lame magic power. What's your magic power? I don't have any magic power. Then who are you to make fun of me if you don't have one yourself? I'm going to tell everyone that you don't have a magic power. No, don't! Hey, you don't have a magic power, right? No, I don't have one yet. I hope I get a good magic power this time. It has to be better than my friends so they don't bully me again. Fly? Just fly? No, that's boring. I'll decline. Honey, you refused your magic power again? Because they gave me flying as an option. It's so boring. You can't keep rejecting. Just accept one already. No, I'm waiting for a good one to appear. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. You do know if you keep rejecting, you might not even get one at all. I'm just waiting for the perfect one to appear. You're useless. Let's go, guys. I'll give you time until tomorrow. If you don't have a magic power, you're leaving the school. But, sir, my magic powers are still loading. I don't know when they'll give me a next one. I don't care. You have 24 hours. Yes, it's loading. Okay, this time I'm going to have to accept it. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Please give me a good magic power. Three, two, one. <gasps> I can't believe it. I'll go Infinity Kisses. You got the same, right, babe? Me? Uh, yeah, I got Infinity too. I guess I was right. We really are soulmates. Yeah. 
So, did you get infinity kisses like your boyfriend? Yeah, I got infinity. Oh, that's so cute. I knew you two were meant to be. Anyways, um, I'm late to class. Hey, can you stop staring at me? Sorry. Amara, they're giving away free pizza at the cafeteria. Let's go. The pizza was so good. I know, right? Wait, why is Jake staring at us? I don't know. He's been staring at me all day. Don't worry. He does that to everyone. He's just a creep. Yeah. Hey, babe. I missed you. Me too. What's wrong? Jake's been staring at me all day. Why? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. I'll be right back. I guessed it. Of course, I'm never going to be anyone special. Hey, what are you guys doing? Sorry, but from now, we can't be friends again. Yeah, we don't want to be friends with you. Why not? Because you're an ordinary person. I'm the child of a company owner. We're not on the same level. And I'm a mafia kid. Class, today we'll be doing history. Please make sure only special students are in this class. But, sir, where do ordinary people go? You need to go to the ordinary people class. Oh, look who we have here. I knew you'd end up working as a waitress. Can I take you guys' order? Amara, there's someone who wants to order tea. Please deliver it to table Why A. Why not you? Because he said he wanted you to deliver Me? it. Me? Yes, hurry up. Here's your tea, sir. Thank you. At the request of the prince, I'm here to invite you to the palace. Why me? Because the prince said you're his childhood friend and he wants to meet you. What? Wait, why is my status loading? Hurry up and give me the rain symbol. Wait, hold on, son. But my mom and dad both have the rain symbol. Oh my gosh, hurry up, cover that symbol. Here's some makeup. Huh? Why do I have to cover it up, mom? Because I cheated on your dad and your real dad had a sun symbol. Hurry up, cover it. Cheated? Does that mean I'm not your child? You're ridiculous. Of course you're my child. I gave birth to you. Amara, stop running away. Let me call your mom. No, don't touch me. I'm going to tell dad that you're a cheater. Oh, I already know. I've also cheated on her before. Huh? When did you cheat on me? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the day after our wedding. What is wrong with you people? Oh my gosh, Amara, you got the sun symbol? Yeah, I did. How come? Your parents both have the rain symbol. I don't know. I had it's really hard to get the sun symbol. My cousin gave birth to 100 kids just to have one with a sun symbol. 100 kids? Yep, so you're very lucky. Lucky? Why? You didn't know? Only people with the sun symbol can marry the king. Marry the king? I don't even want to. Hey, are you talking bad about the king? Get her. Hey, let go of me. Why am I in handcuffs? You will stay here until the king comes and decides how to punish you. Please, let go of me. I have a maths exam soon. If I don't show up, I'll be in big trouble. Wait, the king also have a maths exam today. Maybe he's your classmate. Let's take her to him. Okay, let's do it. Excuse me, miss. I'm so sorry I'm late for the exam. I was kidnapped and handcuffed and they finally let go of me. Um, your excuse doesn't make sense, but because I'm in a good mood, just come in. Hey, you're cheating off my paper. What are you doing? Did you just hit that guy? Yeah, he's an idiot. He keeps cheating. He's bleeding. Are you okay? Hey, you. Aren't you the girl from earlier? Yeah, I remember her because she has a sun symbol. Oh my gosh, our king. What did you do to him? It wasn't me. And who's the king? Who are you talking about? Uh, it's... it's me. I hope I get the crown symbol so I can live in the palace and marry the prince. Huh? An upside down crown? I thought there was only two symbols. A crown and a leaf. How did I get an upside down crown? Mom, there's something wrong with my symbol. What? Upside down crown? That means you're the enemy of the palace. What? Yeah, cover up quickly before anyone sees it. Why did I get the symbol? Why couldn't they just give me an ordinary crown? Oh, look, you got the leaf symbol, just like everyone else. And I see you got the crown symbol. Congrats. Thanks. If I marry the prince, I'll invite you. See you later. I swear this system has an error. How can an arrogant person like Nancy get the crown symbol? You really think it's good to live in the palace? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Those who got the crown symbol would be forced to marry the king who's already had 12 wives in the past. And what's worse is that they can't refuse it. Marry the king? That's crazy. Isn't he like in his 80s or something? And if that was true, why is everyone competing to get the crown symbol? That's because they don't know what's actually going on in the palace. How do you know? You have a leaf symbol. Because I used to live there. How did you live in the palace with that symbol? Believe it or not, my original symbol was. Hurry up, everyone with a leaf symbol had to get to class.
From now on, everyone with a leaf symbol has to stay in this class. But this class is so full. There's barely enough space for everyone. I'm getting claustrophobic. Oh my gosh, this is your new class. Oh, ew, what's that smell? Why is there so many people here? Why are you here, Nancy? I thought you'd already be on the way to the palace by now. None of your business. Those with leaf signs are only allowed to eat yogurt. You're not allowed to eat anything containing meat. What? But why? I was just about to buy a hamburger. Oh, sorry you can't eat any meat. Hey, you can have my burger. But just to let you know, I've spat on it. Hey, Nancy, don't talk to people with leaf symbols. Sorry, sir, I was just saying hi to my old friend. Hey, Aiden, can you believe it? There's more than two symbols. How do you know? Come with me to the girls' toilet. Are you insane? I'm a guy. I'm not going to go to the girls' toilet. Just come. I want to show you my symbol. Hurry up. I can't be seen in here. Here, see. This is my original symbol. Upside down crown. Do you know what it means? <gasps> An upside down crown? That means you... An upside down crown. Do you know what it means? <gasps> An upside down crown. That means you're the kingdom's huh? greatest enemy. How comes your answer is exactly like my mother's? That means she wasn't lying. You don't trust your own mother? I mean, only sometimes. Because usually my family gives me money and she says she's going to hold it for me. But she uses it on school fees. Do you even know anything about symbols? I used to read in my grandpa's history book. He said everyone that got the upside down crown must take the king's throne. <sighs> what? Steal the king's throne? Are you crazy? Don't make things up, Aiden. It's really bad. And if in three days you don't take the king's crown, you're going to die. That's what's written in the book. I'm going to die in three days? No, I don't believe you. I need proof. Where's the proof? You want proof? Come with me tonight. We're going to the grave. To the grave at night? Are you insane? We're going to find my grandpa's history book. I hid it in the grave. Why are we walking towards the palace anyways? When are we going to your grandpa's grave? My grandpa's buried at the palace. <laughs> Buried at the palace? I thought only royals were buried at the palace. Um, to be honest, this is my symbol. Adrian, your symbol's a crown. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Shh, don't speak too loud. I'll tell you later, but for now, let's find a safe place. Your symbol only showed when you turned 17, right? My symbol was there my whole life because my dad was king. Oh, so you're the son of the previous king. You're a prince then. Yes, the current king has an upside down crown, just like so you. So, he was the one who killed your dad? Yes, he killed him the day he found out about his symbol. He killed my mom too, because she refused to be his wife. But, how come none of this is in the news? Yes, because things like this are common in the palace. Seize the throne, share the wife. Wow, all this time I thought royals had the perfect life. But wait, why does this symbol even exist? If the upside down crown didn't exist, the world would have been much safer and no one would fight over the throne. Okay, I've decided to take the king's throne. Are you sure? Yes, and besides, I don't even want the throne like that. I just don't want to die. You're the one who said I have three days. Yes, that's right. Okay, if that's the case, I'll show you the secret passage to the palace without the gods seeing you. Oh yeah, here's a weapon for you. It's poison. Why did you give me this? Oh, so that you can... How long can I move today? Infinity? That means I can move forever. But I won't tell anyone I got infinity. I don't want to be arrogant. Mom, I'm ready for school. What's your move time? I only got five minutes today, so I can't drive you to school. I got two hours. Okay, make sure you hide so nothing bad happens to you. Yes, I know, Mom. I still have 30 minutes to move. I have an hour. How much time do you have, Amara? I have five minutes. Then we can't be friends anymore because we're not going to be in the same class. Not in the same class? What do you mean? Sir, is it true that those with little time has to be put in another class? Yes, the important thing is to be safe. That's why we put you all in the same class. So that nothing bad happens when your time is up. Okay, guys, you have 30 seconds left before your time ends. I have to pretend now. Looks like time is up. Take them to the door shop to sell them. Okay, sir. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, we're getting maximum years. Actually, I'm picking the red one. You're not serious. Why? Because everyone clicks the green one. That's because everyone wants to live. No one knows if the red one means death. Yes, everyone knows that. How? Um. See? You don't know. I'm just gonna do it. You're insane. Just know, when you die, I'm using your credit cards. Your sister told me what you did. And what did I do? Why would you click the red one? You're gonna die. Oh my gosh, you guys are such drama queens. You don't even know what happens when that timer ends. Yes, we do. You're gonna die. Hey, bestie, can I have your clothes when you die? Yeah, take them.
Since you have two minutes left, you should know I hooked up with your boy. You fake! There's no point arguing. You have two minutes left. Here we go. What is this place? Welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're one of the few people who selected less time and therefore you'll be awarded. Awarded with what? The power to make everyone do what you say. No way. That's so cool. I knew something good was going to come out of this. But what happens with the people who selected less time? They're going to have to wait a long time before they get the powers. But most people will normally die before they get the chance to even get them. Okay, go enjoy your powers. Thank you. The door is the other way. Oh, <laughs> I knew that. Amara, you didn't die. What happened? I'm not allowed to say. You're still alive? Look, I'm so sorry for hooking up with your boyfriend. What can I do for you to forgive me? I don't know. Maybe jump off a cliff? Okay. Mom, which one should I choose? Honey, choose Mafia. But the Mafia's dad's job, right? Yes, but Mafia's a dangerous job, so no one can know. Okay. Kids, your task today is to tell me what your dad works as. But I can't tell him. So, what does your dad work as? Um, my dad's job is a security guard. What? You're just the daughter of a security guard? Aren't you ashamed of going to school here? Just because I can't say what my dad works as. I'm being bullied at school. I have to call dad. Hello? Dad? What's your dad supposed to do? He's just a security guard. Oh, so you're the one who's been bullying my daughter, right? Huh? Why is your face like that? What's in the box? It's empty. What? You're lying to me. What's in it? Tell me now. But I don't know what's in it. It's really empty. Don't lie. The box you have is the fake one, not the real one. You tricked me. Hurry up and give me the original box. If you let go of Amara, I'll give you the original box. Okay, but she's going to have to tell us what's in it first. Emily! Before I give you the box, can I have a word with Amara alone, please? Okay, hurry up. Thank you, Emily, for saving me again. No problem. Are you sure giving them the box is a good idea? We'll just give them a fake box again. You want me to lie to them? They won't even know we're lying because they can't see what's in it. Only you can. Okay, if you say so. Here you go. This is the box. Quickly, tell me what's inside. It's, um... Hurry! It's filled with diamonds. Hey, okay, now you two can go. Okay, come on, let's go, Amara. But are you sure they won't find out? It's time to wear these glasses. You're being targeted. People already know your eye color. If only I could find a girl with the colorful eyes. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where the colored girl is? No, sorry, I don't. That's a shame. If I had known, I could have caught her. Emily, we have to leave the city. What happened? Everyone knows that the colorful eyes belong to me, so I have to leave the city immediately. It's easy then, let's get out of the city. But what about the box? We have to get the box and take it abroad. Okay then, let's go get the box now. Let's go. This is the box, just hold it. Why don't we just open it now? Why is there a helicopter here? Hey, girl with colorful eyes, we know you're there. We have to go now, they already know we're here. They've been chasing us this whole time, let's go Amara. You think you can escape from us, huh? Sorry, please, let us go, just this time. Give us the box, otherwise we're going to have to take you back to the warehouse again. Amara, quickly, open the box now and tell me what's in it. Um, three wishes. Give us the box now. Amara, hurry up and make a wish. Okay, my first wish is for me to leave the city. My second wish is for me and Emily to be the richest people in the world. My third wish is for my eyes to go back to normal color. Are you sure you want to let go of your power? Yes. So, did it work? I think so. Take the glasses off. Okay, I'll take it off. I really hope nothing bad happens. Oh my gosh, why is your eye color? Why is my eye color what? Your eyes are not normal, they're colorful. Colorful? I finally found someone with this eye color. Officer, take her. What's happening? Shut up, don't move. So, why am I being detained like this? I'll leave you with this officer because I really need your eyes. They can help me. Help you with what? You're just going to leave me with a stranger? Let me go. Shut up. You wait until me and your teacher come back. So, I'm going to be left here alone? Don't try to run away. But please. Amara, are you okay? Emily, finally you came. Please help me untie these handcuffs. You shouldn't have went to the eye exam. Everyone's after you now. Everyone's after me? Yes, because only your eyes can see the contents of the box. What box? I'll explain later. Come with me now. Basically, your eyes have the power to see what's inside the box. 
people with normal eyes don't see anything. I don't understand. It. What box are you talking about? Our teacher, he always has this orange green box in class. Do you remember it? I think so. So, do you have the box? No, but we have to get it quickly from our teacher's classroom. This is our classroom, but the box is no longer here. It was here just yesterday. It seems that the teacher has taken it to the warehouse at the time you were kidnapped. So, what are we going to do now? He thinks you're still in the warehouse. He must have came in and took it. How are we going to get it back? Don't worry. The box is useless if people don't know what's inside. The contents can only be seen with your eyes. Wait here. I'm going to try find it. I know where the teacher's box is. You do? Yes, I'll show you, but you have to come Okay, let's go. Emily, I'm with Olivia. She says she knows where the box is. The box is with me now. You have to run away. She's lying to you. Um, Olivia, I need to go to the bathroom. My stomach hurts. You think you can run away from me? Choose between a hundred million or know everything. Of course, the money. Amara, your boyfriend's waiting outside. Look what you've done. Oh, no. Amara, how much is 3,000 times 780? Um, I don't know. 2,240,000. Yeah, that's right. Well done. That's weird. I didn't even mean it. My mouth just spoke by itself. Amara, I need to tell you something. Last night... Lucas slept at your house and you two were studying in your room. Yeah, how did you know that? Because I know everything. Class, we're going to have a sudden exam. Whoever finishes first wins a prize. The answer to question one is B. The answer to question two is A. And the answer to question 25 is D. How did you know the answers? Did you look at my notes? No, I just guessed it. Now, can I have my prize? Hey, anyone want to buy some lottery tickets? Yes, can I have number 2, 8, 14 and 16? No way, I won! Mom, we're gonna be rich! Police, open up! How come it's so quiet? It was so crowded a minute ago. What was that? I didn't just step on my teacher, did I? I hope I'm wrong. But no, everyone's small. I'm the only big one left. Don't worry, I'm still here. Huh? Olivia, you haven't changed yet? Remember when I told you I'd sleep outside the toilet? I didn't sleep on purpose because I knew you took the big pill. You have to eat the small pill so you can become small like all of us. The problem is, I don't know where I put the small pill. It's surely around school. Let's look for it. Amora, I found the small pill. <sighs> Thank you. Wait, Anna, you didn't turn small yet either. Why? Because I'm not sleepy yet. The pills only work when we sleep. Thankfully, I found my small pill. Help me! Huh? Did someone just ask for help? I'm right here under your feet. Jack? You're my classmate, right? Yes, thank you, Amara. Thanks for what? Thank you for killing the teacher. He was lying to us all about the earth shrinking. What are you talking about? I'm just gonna eat it. Don't! Please don't eat it! Huh? Anna? How come you're so small? You were just big a second ago. It wasn't me who was talking to you earlier. What do you mean? You were talking to a robot that the teacher made to trick you. So that you can eat the pill and become small. Luckily, I haven't eaten it yet. Have you found the little pill yet? Yes, but I didn't eat it yet. Why don't you eat it? Because Anna said the teacher tricked us to be small. What? As you can see, the earth isn't shrinking at all. The earth can't get smaller if there's still some people who haven't shrunk yet. Some people? Yes, for example, me, Felix and Anna. Amara, down here. What's that sound? I'm right here. Amara, whatever happens, you have to listen to me. You have to sleep Why now. should I sleep? Because you've eaten the big pill. You have to sleep so it works. If you get big, you can save us. It's true. I need to sleep so I can restore them to their original size. Amara, wake up. You can't sleep. If you sleep, you grow big. You again. You're just a robot. Stop disturbing my sleep. I want to be big so I can restore my other friends. Think about it. How are you going to save them if you're this size and they're that size? The earth can't shrink unless you get smaller. Don't you feel sorry for them? That's true. Then eat that little pill now. Mom, is this all we have? A pound? Unfortunately, yes. So please use it wisely and buy food. With one pound? How am I supposed to get anything with one pound? I don't know. Be creative. If you don't come back with food, I'm kicking you out. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any food for one pound? No, sorry, but I do have this mystery ticket, though. I would buy it, but I only have one pound. Well, it's your lucky day. It only costs one pound. What's the price? That's the whole point. It's a mystery. You know what? Fine. I'll take it. I'm back. Please tell me you bought food. Actually, I bought a mystery ticket instead. You spent our last pound on a mystery ticket? You don't understand. We might win money. Might? So you don't even know what the prize is? That's it. Get out of my house.
And the winner is 3452. Oh my gosh, that's me. I won. What's the prize? I don't know. It says to go to the police station to get the ticket. You're going to share the prize with me, right? I'm your mom. Hey, how much is this banana? It's very squishy. 3,000 words. Okay, I'll take it. Excuse me, miss. Do you have any words to spare? I'm so hungry. Sure. I can't give you too many words, but I can give you 30,000. I hope it helps. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Wait, my words are dropping. What? Why? I have no idea. How many words do you have now? Hey, your mom called and said your words are dropping. Is that true? Come with me. Did you give your words to this woman? She's the one stealing your words. But why? You have been chosen. For? Allow me to explain. Yeah, why not? Ooh, it's cute. Thanks, soulmate. I think I should send him something unique so I can find him quick. Let's see. This bracelet. My grandpa gave this to me for my 13th birthday. It even has my zodiac sign on it. Two? Okay, he's giving me options. Hey, can you help me pick a dress to wear so my soulmate can find me? Yeah, sure, try them on. This is the first option. It has a really nice back and it has matching shorts with pockets. And this is the second one. It also comes with the same shorts. So, which one should I pick? I don't know, I like both. I think I'll go with this one. Wish me luck. I'll just let him buy anything he wants from now on. That's if he'll ever buy anything. You know he was kidnapped because of you, right? Can you just stop? You already know how I feel about it. Did he ask to buy anything else? No, um, I need to go. Okay, this is a good sign. At least he's still alive. He probably needs it to escape. Okay, that's a bit random, but I'll just let him buy it. Mom, can you get the door? Mom? Yes? Um, I just wanted to ask. Are you a piece of delivery guy? No, I use this uniform to escape. I'm your soulmate. A phone? Yeah, why not? What did your soulmate buy? He bought a new phone. Mine bought new sunglasses. Cool. A ring light? Okay. Is he being serious? Not happening. How does he even have money for that? I mean, if you really want to, I guess. Another phone? How many phones does he need? No. Did you saw me buy a lot of things? So many things. Did he ask to buy a TikTok here? Yeah, how did you know? You have to take a look at this. Oh, cool. Mom, can you tell me what this is? It's pretty straightforward. You can accept and decline anything your soulmate wants to buy. Well, that's kind of useless. I'll let my soulmate buy anything he wants. Anything? Don't you think that's a bad idea? So you're telling me my soulmate wanting to buy food is a bad idea? Perfume? Yeah, sure. At least he cares about how he smells. A lot? I wonder what he needs that for. Is it true you're letting your soulmate buy anything? Yeah, why is everyone making such a big deal about it? Just be careful. Whatever. A rope? I wonder what he needs that for. Maybe he needs it for climbing or something. Yeah, true. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but you guys might want to hear this. I hope I'll get a nice hairstyle. Two ponytails. If I accept, all my friends are going to make fun of me because I look like a little girl. It's okay, honey. It's a trend now. No, mom, it's not. I'm going to refuse it. Look how pretty my hair is. Yeah, it looks really good. I wish I got that hairstyle. Where is your hairstyle? You didn't get one? I did, but I rejected it. You should pick a unique one so your soulmate can find you. Yeah, I'm going to accept the next choice I get. I chose a half up, half down ponytail. I chose a bun. You guys are lucky. Don't worry, just keep refusing until you get a good one. Yeah, I did that as well and it worked. Wow, then I have a better chance of getting a good hairstyle. I hope this time they'll give me a good hairstyle, which is better than my friends. Huh? Bold hairstyle? 
That means I'm not gonna have any hair. Why would they even give me this choice? It's okay, honey. Just accept it. Your hair will grow healthier. I don't want to, mom. You should be thankful and stop I'm being I'm not picky. being picky. I'm gonna refuse it. I'm worried about you. You haven't picked a hairstyle yet. You have to quickly pick one so you can marry your soulmate. Calm down. I still have time. Hopefully, they'll give me a hairstyle this time that I like because I'm so tired of this. Huh? A bob cut? Not happening. I'm not cutting my hair. Sis, there's an old man staring at you. You have to pick a hairstyle quickly so you can get married and no one will stare at you anymore. No, I'm refusing it. I can't believe I still haven't gotten the hairstyle I want. I heard that if you get two braids, you're a special person. What do you mean a special person? You'll get treated like a queen with that hairstyle. Gosh, you still haven't picked? How many times have you refused? Three times. But you only get three chances. Now you'll never meet your soulmate. Calm down. Special people get to choose four times. And I'm sure I'm going to get to choose again. But you're not special. Yes, I am. Just watch. Don't give me another choice. I really hope so. I'm starting to get a bit worried. What if they don't give me another choice? Yes, I knew it. They're giving me another choice. Okay, hopefully this time they'll give me braids. Huh? Two braids? I managed to get the special hair. Don't accept it because... It's okay. This hairstyle is profitable. I don't want to waste this opportunity. So I'm going to accept it. You have to take a look at this. There is no way he's my soulmate. He has millions of followers. You're lucky. Lucky? How am I lucky? I hate being on social media. And now I have to spend the rest of my life with someone who's probably on their phone 24-7. These are just getting weirder and weirder. Amare, it's only just posted a video. Look. Hey, guys. So today we're going to be looking at what my soulmate will allow me to buy. Of course. He's using me for views. What a clout chaser. I'm not participating in your stupid game. First a lock and now a key. Well, this is sus. Did you hear the news? No, if it's about my soulmate, I don't... Just take a look. TikTok are kidnapped after soulmate declined stuff to defend himself. Told you. Reason? What does that mean? Honey, it means you can choose how you die. Oh... That one seems harsh. I'll pass. What reason did you get? A car crash. Did you decline it? Of course I did. Who wants to die because of a car crash? Honey, make sure you accept the next one, okay? Yes, mom. Don't worry. Oh no, I love traveling. I can't accept this. I have to refuse. Amara, everyone's chosen their reasons except you. Okay, I'm still waiting for the perfect one. How many have you declined? Two. Well, you better accept the next one, otherwise it will be randomly chosen. What? No one told me that. I can't let them choose one for me. What if it's bad? <sighs> okay, let's hope this one's good. I hope me and my soulmate can live in a nice planet. Huh? Planet Mars? But it's so small. I want to live in a big planet, so I'm going to refuse. You should be grateful, so just accept it. Because if you refuse... Calm down, mom. It's my decision, not yours. Hi guys, why are you all packing? Where are you going? We're going to live with our soulmates in planet Pluto. What planet are you going to live in, Amara? I still haven't chosen yet, but don't worry, I'll still get other options. Hopefully the second option is better. Earth? Just accept it, honey. That way you don't have to move to a different planet. But mom, I don't want to have a soulmate who lives on Earth. It's too common. You're really picky. You shouldn't get a soulmate because you don't even know where you want to live. Don't worry, mom. I'll pick something soon. I'm about to leave, but I want to know first which planet you're going to move to. I rejected it again because I got Earth and I want to live somewhere else like you guys. Does that mean you only have one chance left? We're only given three options. I'm going to have to accept the last one this time. Bye, Amara. I hope you get the planet Pluto like us. I want to get a big and unique planet. Earth is so lonely. I'm so lonely. Hey, Amara, don't you want to move planets like the others? I do. Wait, how come you're still here? My soulmate refused because I wanted to stay on Earth. Earlier, my choice was Earth. Please don't tell me he's my soulmate. Why so quiet? It's nothing. I'm really excited about the last choice. Hopefully, I can get a planet that's different from the others. Look, that's the girl with over 2,000 years. Don't get close to her. She might steal your years. You're right. Let's go. Where do you think you're going? 
to class. What does it look like? Yeah, sorry, the principal made a new rule. You're not allowed in this class anymore. Students are scared of How is it my fault they're scared? I mean, can you blame them? Everyone knows why you have so many years. It's because you stole them from others. No, I... If you have anything to discuss, I suggest you speak with the principal. Whatever. This school is stupid anyways. Hey, you want to go on a date? Aren't you scared of me? No, I have over 2,000 years too. Okay, fair enough. Whoa, your house is huge. What can I say? My parents are rich. Anyway, come on in. Okay, so what now? Whoa, what are you doing? Hmm, I could use an extra 2,000 years. Green or pink? What does this mean, mom? That color will determine how much your soulmate's salary is, but I've never heard of green. In that case, I'll choose the green. Wait, are you sure you want to be different from the others? Yes, because usually green represents money, right? She got the color green, which is a rare color. I'm so jealous of her. Do you know what green means? It means your soulmate is the number one richest person in the huh? city. Do you know who that person is? No, I don't. I've never seen his face. Guess what? I just found out my soulmate is the richest person in the city. I thought your family was the richest. I thought so too, but turns out there's richer people out there. You have to come with me somewhere. Somewhere? Where do you mean? Meet someone who can give clues about your soulmate. Welcome, my grandchildren. I wanted to ask you about my soulmate. You can find your soulmate in your school. In school? But in school, I'm definitely the richest person. Just listen to her, Amara. It's impossible that she's wrong. Okay, I'll prove that what she's saying is wrong. Everyone, there's a new student in this class. A new student? My name is Justin. Nice to meet you all. He's so handsome. He said he's rich, much richer than you. That means he has to be my soulmate. See, it's true what that old lady said earlier. Hurry up and speak with him before the others. Hi, my name is... Amara, right? The one who claims to be my soulmate? What? That's not true. Who told you that? I also got green like Justin and he trusts me more. There should be only one person who gets green. You guys are disturbing the class. As a punishment, you're going to have to stay after class and clean up this whole place. The one who can clean the fastest is my soulmate. So, this is a competition. This should be really easy for me. I finished earlier than Leah. Who said that? We finished at the same time. What? Don't worry, I've already decided who the winner is. And it's... Short life or an illegitimate child? I don't want to live a short life. I'll just choose the illegitimate child. I can just put it in an orphanage or something. Mommy! Wait, how come you don't look like me? Listen to me carefully, okay? I'm not your mom, and today I have a really important job interview, so... Stay away from me. Mommy! I already told you, I'm not your mom. You're Amara, right? Yes, sir. So, you're married, right? Not yet. But it's written here, you already have one child. How did my personal data change? That means you're a single parent. Yes, sir. Something like that. Alright, in that case, you got the job. Wait, really? Thanks so much. Finally, I have a job. Who's calling me? Hello? Hello, we're from the police station. Police? What's wrong, officer? We just found out that you have a... Let's just break up. But why, babe? Because I'm a guy. I started this relationship, so I can end it too. You can't really dump me because you're just a girl. Amara, you chose to be a girl, right? No, I chose to be a boy. What? Why would you do that? The guy's the one who starts and ends relationships, right? Not all guys are like that. Didn't I tell you that David isn't good for you? Whatever, you'll never understand. Basically, I had to be a guy who's taller than my ex because he's pretty short. So, I chose to be tall. Look at Amara. She was dumped by the most handsome guy in school. David, right? He's so handsome. Are you sure he's the most handsome guy here? Yes, look around. Is there any other guy prettier than him? There will be. Be a CEO or be a mafia leader. Must be fun being in a mafia. Guys, let's have lunch together. You're David's ex. We were only friends with you because you were dating the popular guy. I'm going to be his girlfriend soon. What? Let the game begin. Hi, Sam. Hey, uh, David said earlier if he loses, you'll be mine. He said that? Everyone, the match results are here. The winner is... Sam! <laughs> what? There's no way he won. Let's rematch. Just accept the fact that you lost. No, I didn't lose. I was just tired. Yeah, right. I don't care. You might have won, but you're not taking my girlfriend. 
But that was the deal, wasn't it? Hey, David, whether you want or not, I don't want to be with you anymore. You're a fool and you're so selfish. Furthermore, I don't need a man in my life to be happy. But wait, I love you. Aw, you just got dumped. Maybe you should start learning how to treat girls better. There's something weird about you. Ever since you got here, you've been wanting me to break up with my girlfriend. No, it's not like that at all. Who really are you? You'll soon find out. Amara, it was you this whole time? I should have known. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. David lost the fight against the girl. Why are you doing this to me? Now everyone's bullying me. I didn't do anything. You were the one who suggested the fight in the ring, so you did this to yourself. Anyways, I need to go. Bye. Huh? I can talk to ghosts? Although I don't believe in them, I'm going to pick ghosts because I'm curious. Mom, I can now talk to ghosts. What? Why would you choose something like that? Relax, Mom. I'm not afraid of them. No need to panic. Oh, okay. If that's the case, then it's fine. That will be £25. Here you go. Excuse me, but where do you live? In that house over there. Oh, it looks very old. I didn't think anyone hey, lived there. Hey, don't be rude. It looks good on the inside. Trust me. You should be careful. I always get a bad feeling whenever I pass by that house. I knew it. Ghosts don't exist because up till now, I still haven't seen one. I love being right. Is there anyone in your house? I'm kind of scared to disturb anyone. Relax. There's only going to be my mom and us two. Okay, if you say so. You wait here until I call you, okay? Don't take too long. I'm getting goosebumps. Be careful. There's a ghost living in that shed right next to you. What the heck, Amara? Mom, there's a friend of mine. She's... What friend, honey? Why are my mom's legs flying? Tell her to come in. Cover my mouth or cover my heart? Choose mouth, now. Why, mom? Don't you see that big fat mole on your face? It makes you look ugly. Okay, mom. Finally, I can go to school again. Hey, you, why are you covering your mouth? You're so weird. Maybe because she's ugly. That's why she chose to cover her face. <laughs> okay, guys, has everyone found a date to prom? Yes, I'm going with my boyfriend. Must suck to be Amara. She's ugly and no one wants to go to prom with an ugly girl. Can you guys just stop bullying me? Not until you take off that mask. Yeah, take off your mask. I'm curious to see what you're hiding. We promise we're not going to bully you. Okay, okay, fine. I'll take off my mask. Before this competition starts, please remove your mask. Okay, I'll take off my mask now. Sandy, why do you have so many moles? What? This mask is supposed to remove them, not make them worse. Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. You said this mask would remove my moles. Why did it make it I'm worse? I'm so sorry. I didn't know that the mask could only be used once. You didn't know? You have to be responsible. <sighs> Don't worry. I still have a lot of masks at home. Mom, I'm home. Uh, what's up with your face? What do you mean, Mom? Here, have a look. Huh? What? Why do I have so many moles on my face? Did you borrow the mask to someone else? Yes, I borrowed it to Sandy. You what? You weren't supposed to do that. Where is the mask now? I don't know. I threw it away in the bin. Well, go search for it before anyone else finds it and uses it. Your whole face will be covered in moles. I've searched everywhere, but I can't find it. Are you searching for a mask? I saw a guy take it from your backyard. What guy? I guess it's worth it. Chris? Amara, can you see? Yes, I never thought I'd be able to see again. But it's weird. Why has my mom made me blind all this time? There must be a reason. Did your mom ever give you anything else? Mom makes me apple juice every day, but it tastes weird. Well, make sure you don't drink that apple juice anymore. We don't know what's behind all of this. Okay, Chris. Mom, I'm home. Honey, I missed you. You didn't take off your pigtails, did you? No, Mom. Good, honey. Honey, I made you apple juice. Drink it. Okay. Hurry up. It will soon be afternoon. Mom, I'm going to a friend's house, okay? Be careful. Did you drink the apple juice? Yes, Mom. Look, there's the blind girl again, but why is her hair down? Hey, guys, I can finally see you. Why aren't you blind? I'm normal now. Oh, so you've been fooling us all this time? Yeah, she only did it for the attention. You freak. Chris, where are you? Hey, Amara, sorry I'm late. Are you okay? What's that drink? 
This is the apple juice I've been talking about. I've been drinking it ever since I was a kid. That doesn't seem like apple juice to me. The color is off. What color is apple juice supposed to be like? Yellowish. From now on, you have to be careful with your mom. Come to my house. I want you to meet my dad. Okay. Dad, this is my friend. Do you know what that drink is? Huh? Where did you get this drink from? My mom gave it to me. That drink isn't just a normal drink. This drink is... Mom, what are these choices above my head? You have to choose between eating a shrimp and taking out your ponytails. I'm allergic to shrimp, so I'll choose to let go of my ponytails. You can't, honey. They're magic ponytails from our ancestors. If you let go, bad things will happen, so just eat the shrimp. Okay, Mom. Oh, look, it's the blind girl with the ponytails. I know, right? She never does any... Are you not makeup. tired of talking about me all the time? Hey, the blind girl has the courage to answer now. Class, we will hold a poetry reading competition next week. Can I join, sir? How are you going to join? You're blind. You can't read. I can memorize it. I'm sorry, Amara, but you can't take part in this competition. But, sir! It's a shame. You're no use to the school. Why am I blind? Why can't I just be like the other kids at school? Hello, excuse me. I'm new. Do you know where the library is? Uh, it's in... I'm sorry. I didn't know you were blind. That's okay. I'm Chris, by the way. I'm Amara. Look, it's the blind girl. Let's have some fun. Hey, pony. <gasps> Give hey. it back. It's right here. Take it. <laughs> She's so stupid. Hey, stop. You guys are really mean. Who the hell are you? You don't need to get involved. He's kind of handsome, you know. Do you want to be friends? I don't want to be friends with evil people like you. Oh, he's so arrogant. Amara, let's go. Thanks, Chris, for helping me. That's okay. I'm your new friend, after all. Wow, I have a friend. You really don't have any other friends? No, they all think I'm weird because I'm blind. They call me Blind Pony. Calm down. From now on, I'll always be on your side. My throat feels weird. What's wrong? Because my mom made me eat shrimps and I'm allergic to it. It was either that or I had to let go of my ponytails. Why don't you let it loose? She says something bad will happen if I do. I'm curious, why don't we try to remove the ponytail? No, we can't do that, that's risky. What if you're blind because of the ponytails? What? No, that's crazy. I've been blind ever since I was a child, Chris. But you've also had those ponytails since you were oh, a child. Oh, you're right. Just take them off, Amara. I'll take care of you. I guess it's worth a try. Whatever I say comes true or becomes a dream... I choose come true. Why would I choose become a dream when everything in reality is more exciting? Morning, mom. Why do you look so upset? Because my cooking is so bad. Calm down. Your cooking is amazing. Whoa, how comes this cake tastes so good? It was bad a minute ago. Do you want some? Yes, please. I can't believe it. It really worked. Hey, Amara, we have to break up. I'm with someone new now. What? Hey, Amar, Jack just broke up with me. Didn't you hear? He's with Anna now. She's super famous on TikTok. Famous on TikTok? Yeah, her videos went viral. Oh, wow. I was there for her when she had no followers at all, and now she's stealing my boyfriend. Just watch. I'm going to be more famous than her. Whoa, guys, that's the famous girl. I know. It's so cool that we go to the same school. Why are you all staring at me? You're that POV girl, right? The one with 5 million followers? I have 5 million followers? That means I don't have to post any more POVs, right? Yeah, I guess. Yes! This means everything I say comes true. Babe, be my girlfriend again. <sighs> no, you're just a clout chaser. Sorry. Did you guys hear? Apparently Jack got the highest grade in class. I know, right? I don't even know why she would break up. He got him. top grades? Yeah, you're stupid for letting him go. I heard you wanted to challenge me in the next exam. Yes, I'm going to get higher grades than you. Okay, if I beat your grade, you have to do whatever I say for the whole Okay, day. deal. I can't lose. I have to win this challenge. I will win the challenge against Jack. Why isn't it working? Hey, Amara, the exam's starting now. Are you ready? Yeah. Mom, should I choose fire or flowers? You have to choose fire. Don't ever touch the flowers, okay? Okay. Hey, what did you choose? I chose fire because it looks strong. Oh, um, I was told to choose fire too. Why doesn't anyone choose flowers? Is it just me? Why is our house so messy, Mom? I'm stressed because your sister chose flowers. Where is she? I need to speak to her. She's dead. What? My boyfriend died because he chose flowers. He did? My sister also died because she chose flowers. Good thing we chose fire. I should have listened to my mom.
So, why do people trust flowers dying? Why? You trust fire, right? Yeah, I'm just curious because I'm confused why so many people are dying right now. You trust flowers? Follow me. I didn't. Don't lie, I have proof. Wait, are you the angel of death? Please, I don't want to die yet. Don't worry, everyone who trusts flowers are still alive. Huh? Seriously? 